India's moon rover first steps on lunar surface. Chandrayaan-3 had a majestic lift on the 14th of July, 2023. The Chandrayaan-3 mission comes nearly four years after India, Chandrayaan-2. The Indian Space Agency has learned valuable lessons. From the partial failure of its Chandrayaan mission in 2019, Indian Space Research Organization had made significant improvements for Chandrayaan-3 mission for soft landing on Moon. For example, number one landing area has been expanded to 4 kilometers, x to 0.5 kilometers. The craft has also been equipped with more fuel. Lastly, ISRO has incorporated a failure-based design in Chandrayaan-3, unlike the success-based design used in Chandrayaan-2. This is the Chandrayaan-3 integrated module in cleanroom before encapsulation. Chandrayaan had a smooth landing near the lunar south pole. On Wednesday, August 23rd, around 18.04 a.m., the landing came just days after Russia's Luna 25 spacecraft spun out of control and crashed into the moon. India becomes the fourth country to land a spacecraft on moon and become first country to land on moon's south pole. The historic moment was greeted with celebrations across the country. Prime Minister Narendra Modi saying India is now on the moon and that we have reached where no other country could. India's latest moon mission sends first photos. This is first image of moon's surface. A sequence of images of the moon's surface taken by India's Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft during its descent to the lunar south pole. The landing coincides with the start of a lunar day. A day on the moon equals a little over four weeks on Earth, and this will mean the lander and rover will have 14 days of sunlight to charge their batteries. Once night falls, they will discharge and stop working. It is not yet clear whether they will come back to life when the next lunar day starts. What are the goals of Chandrayaan-3? Major goal of Chandrayaan-3 is to hunt for water to South Pole region hold ice which could support human habitation in future. It could also be used for supplying propellant for spacecraft headed to Mars and other distant destinations. Do support for more information.